Hello again, and welcome back to Educator.com's Advanced PHP with MySQL course. In today's lesson, we're going to be learning how to upload files using the HTTP POST method. Uh, the first thing we're going to talk about is something known as POST data encoding, uh, which describes how uh, the data that you submit from an HTML form using the POST method um, is encoded before it's sent to the web server so that the web server knows how to uh, interpret it. We're actually going to go through the process of uploading uh, some files. And then we're going to talk about um, what's known as the files super global. And basically, that's PHP, is, uh, that's the way to access uh, information about uploaded files from your PHP code. Uh, our post data, we've been accessing using the post super global. Um, so we're still going to use that to access um, general post variable name value pairs. Uh, but for file uploads, we're going to be using this new super global. Uh, and then additionally, we're going to talk about uh, once you've uploaded a file uh, on an HTML form, uh, how in your PHP script you can move that to a location that you want to. Because uh, uh, when files are uploaded, they're uploaded to a temporary directory. Uh, so basically, uh, when the post method is used to submit an HTML form, um, data is encoded by default using URL encoding. Um, we talked a little bit about that uh, in our lesson on um, our review on HTTP where we introduce the post, me post method. Uh, so basically, um, when you uh, post the, when you use the post method to submit a form, um, it creates, as we learned in our HTTP lesson, there's a, a header of the HTTP um, that describes uh, that it's using the post method. It tells a little bit about what the content is. There's a blank line, and then there's the body um, of that HTTP request, which contains the data. Um, that you're submitting on the form. Well, that data um, by default follows this uh, content type called application slash, uh, and this sort of long phrase here, which basically says it's URL um, encoded data. And actually, if we go and look at, uh, for example, a, a form we're going to be working with uh, today called onctype.html, which refers to encoding type, um, it's a form that is going to allow you to um, just basically submit a first name and a last name. Um, here we've explicitly set the encoding to this URL encoded form, but if we left it out by default, that would be the default. And so if we actually go ahead and uh, submit the form, and we use our, our Firebug add-on to see what the post uh, data looks like, uh, and the, in this case, they, uh, we're just posting the data to it uh, to this the same file, uh, onctype.html. If we look at our post data, um, we can see that here the data we supplied was URL encoded. Um, hopefully you can see that's a little, little bit small. And it says the content type was application slash x www form URL encoded. So that's the standard encoding for data submitted by um, a uh, HTML form using post. However, when we want to upload a file, uh, you need to change that encoding. Um, you need to use a, a different type of encoding, and the content type um, and the encoding that you're going to be using is something called multi-part um, form data. And the way that you do that is by setting the onctype attribute of your HTML form tag. So if we go back and look at onctype.html, um, let me scroll over here, we can see that it was set to this URL encoding, which is the default anyways. And if we change it to multi-part form data, we're going to see that when we submit this um, form, even though we're not doing a file upload here, we're going we're to take a look at what the, um, how that data is encoded um, in the body of our post request. Um, so if we go ahead and run the same form again, Actually, let me have to ref refresh it so that it um, updates with the new encoding type. We go ahead and submit the query. And if we look at our post data, uh, we can see that it's very different. Um, whereas before, and actually, let me open up a, a second window that, so we can compare them. Just get rid of this so it goes to the default. So 
So in the old way, um, our post data was formatted in this URL encoded method uh, down here. Well, in the new method using the multi-part multi form data, um, what it actually does is it sets the content type to multi-part form data, and then um, it has our data that we submitted basically encoded in a different way. Um, here you can see that it's saying that we've submitted a, a, a variable called first name. Uh, the value of it is Matthew. Um, the last name, we have a variable named last name. We're submitting the value uh, for that macage. And basically the way that um, this works is it basically um, for each input element that you have on a form that you submit, when you submit it using multi-part form data as the encoding, um, it basically defines this, this string known as a boundary and basically in between e it creates a boundary and in between each boundary it adds the it has the information about each input element that was submitted so here we have first name um, and last name it's not really important how that encoding works the browser does it for you and and uh, PHP knows how to interpret that and understand it um, but this is just to give you an idea of what's going on sort of behind the scenes when you use this multi-part form data which is what we're going to be using for uploading files